Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So Diddy is being sued once again. In legal docs obtained by TMZ, Rodney Jones, a former producer for Diddy, claims he was repeatedly, okay, repeatedly sexually assaulted by Diddy and subjected to unwanted advances by associates of diddy at his direction so pretty much not only was diddy sexually assaulting him diddy also had his people his boys yeah doing the same he said jones said diddy would grope his genitals and touch his anus what so, wouldn't you have to be naked for you to be, you know, doing all that? Like, and, wow. And you just sitting there taking it? Okay, a anyways, right? Jones goes on to allege that he would parade around naked in front of Jones. Yeah, a lot of people that know Diddy and victims... Also, Mark Curry, he wrote a book on Diddy. He worked with Diddy. He was a former bad boy artist, I believe. Yeah, so even Mark Curry says he loved to be naked in front of people. Like in front of his staff and in front of men. So it's like... <sighs> yeah, anyways, right? So... He also says Diddy would downplay the alleged assaults as horseplay. Also said Diddy forced him to watch a video involving Stevie J having sex with another man. Jones also included a screen grab of the video. So all of that is in the legal documents. You know who Stevie J is. Stevie J is from Love and Hip Hop. You know, Jocelyn's baby daddy. Yeah. Are you surprised? No. Stevie J, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, these people are sick, right? There are more allegations. Check this out. Jones also says a female cousin of Young Miami, Diddy's girlfriend, you know, Young Miami, her cousin also sexually assaulted him allegedly attempting to have sex with him in front of diddy and numbers i'm sorry and members of his staff so you see they all so for for them to be in the same circle they all have to be down with the same things the fact that this is young miami's cousin and she's involved. She's doing these things as well. So it's clear that Young Miami is down with the nasty stuff that Diddy is down with. They all are. He's not the only one. They all are. The men, the women. These artists are sick. You hear me? Sick. So Jones says Diddy brought prostitutes to his house in Miami. And in one occasion, Jones says he was present at the house and was drugged. And possibly the R word. Yeah. Wow. He also alleges at several parties, Diddy intentionally served women bottles of his tequila and vodka brands laced with drugs. Okay, so I read, no, where did I get this from? Okay, I remember, okay, I remember now. The, the former escort, male escort that Diddy would hire to sleep with him and Cassie. Yeah, he said... The whole Ciroc brand was a cover-up for something else. They were not... They didn't have Ciroc in the bottles. They would have liquid cocaine. They were pushing that. They were moving that. 
These people are drug dealers. And I believe every word because a lot of these these、uh, record labels, they really are a cover. They really are a cover up for, you know, other things. Okay. So. Yeah. So yeah, the the guy when he was um when he was arrested. And he was like, and being interrogated, he he mentioned that he said it's a cover up, a cover up. Sorry, did he? You know, the whole Sorak liquor thing is a cover up. It's really do do pushing, you know, drugs, you know, liquid cocaine in these Sorak bottles. You know, because because he's did he, they're not gonna stop him because you know when you when you. You know when these things are being shipped on planes, you know they go they they get on private jets and all these things, private planes. So yeah, it's easy for them to to yeah move these things. Yeah, so that's wow. Anyway, let's move on. So there are more allegations, including bringing underage girls to Diddy's home and providing them with alcohol. I remember Mark Curry mentioned, you know, Diddy loved lacing alcohol bottles. Like they'll he'll have the regular bottles, right? Drinks, and then he'll also have bottles that are laced. So when girls, when women, girls, drink, they don't know that they are these alcohols are spiked. Oh my goodness! Diddy directed Stevie J and his son Justin Combs to recruit prostitutes, and in Justin's case, he was instructed to find underage girls to attend the parties. This is sick. It's one thing to be a sick bastard, but to involve your son, your young son, in your disgustingness—that's sick. So, Justin—I don't know his age, but I believe he's under thirty. He's probably twenty-five, twenty-six. I don't know, twenty-three. I don't know. So it would be easy for him to. It wouldn't look suspicious for him to invite young underage girls to his parties, right, or anywhere, because he looks young, and I believe he's young, probably early twenties. So if he bring back seventeen year olds, sixteen year olds, fifteen year olds, even though that's still sick, it wouldn't look as. Crazy because he's still young, right? So this is sick. This is really sick. Jones claims Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooding Jr. on Diddy's yacht, and Cuba allegedly began touching, groping, fondling Mr. Jones' legs, his upper and her thighs, near his. You know, and small of his back near his buttocks and his shoulders. These people are just touchy feely. They think they could just touch you anyway, anywhere, and and some of these people they sit there and they take it. That is wild to me. Wow, there are also allegations of a shooting where Jones says Diddy and his son Justin got into a heated argument at an LA studio recording studio. Jones says gunfire erupted and a man named G was hit and bleeding from his stomach. Jones says Diddy told him to lie to cops and say G was shot in a drive-by. These people are liars. They are scumbags. Honestly, wow. So Jones is suing Justin, other employees, as well as various record executives, 
And according to the docs, he's seeking at least 30 million in damages. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, Diddy is a sick bastard, and I'm glad his time is here. And, yeah, he needs to be stopped. He's done so... Oh, my goodness. He's, it's, it's so horrific, the things that he's involved and the things that he's done to men and women and young women, kids, okay? He's a monster. Yeah, so that's all, you guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like. And I will see you on the next one.